if you want to create a conditional column based on previous columns in SQL, in that condition, case operators are used. In our today's session, we will be discussing about how we can use case operators in SQL. So, let's get started guys. Before we start the video, if you want to become a successful data analyst with WS Cube, then WS Cube Tech is bringing their premium data analytics mentorship program. Its cohort 2 is launching in September. So if you want to be a part of this journey with WS Cube, then click on apply now. Now let's get started guys. So here I have a data of employees. Here we have an employee name, employee ID, their name, gender, department, salary, country, city and high date. Now, I want to give them bonuses based on their salaries. For example, if I write the query like this, that select, I want the name of the person. Also, I want their salary. The third thing I want is a bonus. So, for a bonus, I need to create a new column, but this will be based on their salary. So, let's say if someone has a salary of 50 to 60,000, which ranges between 50 to 60,000, they will be getting a bonus of 5%. So, how would we write this is case. And I'll give a little indentation in the next line that when salary, we have salary, salary is greater than or we can say salary is smaller than 60,000. Then we need to create a new column whose value would be 5%. Okay, so 5%, then we need to write 5% and because 5% is there, I'll be putting it inside double quotations. Okay, similarly, when the salary is greater than equal to 60,000 and salary is smaller than 70,000 then the bonus would be 10% okay similarly when salary is greater than equal to 70,000 and salary is smaller than 80,000 then we'll be giving them 15% of bonus lastly we have else so, because I know my data that my data starts from the salary of 56,000 and the highest value is 85,000. That's why the remaining would be what? For remaining, we will be put putting 20%. Okay. Now, we need to end this column name because now we are ending this case operator. We will end this as, let's give it a name as bonus. We will not have to write it in double quotation. End is bonus from the name of our table is employees we have also choose the name of the database that is company let's run it and here you can see here first name is john doe and he has a salary of seventy thousand. and we have written the one who has seventy thousand to eighty thousand will get a 15 percent of bonus so your bonus is 15 percent similarly jean smith has a sixty five thousand salary that's why she has a bonus of 10 percent and so on we have all our values. The one who has 58,000 has 5% of bonus. So guys, this is how case operator works that uh, let me just select everything for you and let's beautify it. Also, let me reduce the font size here. Okay. So this is how it looks like that here we have select. First thing that we are asking for is name, then salary. The third thing is we are giving a case operator that when the salary is smaller than 60,000, then it is 5. When there is another condition that it is 10%, when there is another condition it's 15 and else it's 20%. And we are ending this column name as bonus and then we will be calling it from our table employees. I hope this is clear how we can create a new column and new column is a conditional column. So how we can create a conditional column in SQL based on our previous columns. And for more such SQL related videos, follow our channel WSQTech. Thank you.